In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and use T-shirt mockups effectively in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hello everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please turn the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So in one of my videos where I talked about how to download and use logo mockups, you guys seem to be very interested in that topic. So today we are going to niche down to a more specific one, T-shirt mockup. So a mockup is a replica as explained in that previous video. If you have time, you can just check that out. As I explained thoroughly what a mockup is. A mockup is a replica and that means that it is not the actual design. It is just something that should be used to present your works to your clients as to how it is going to look like in the real world. So where do you get your mockups? Now there are lots of websites that you can download mockups for free but some of my favorites are Freepik, Graphic Beggar, Mockup3 and PSD mockups. And in this tutorial we're going to make use of graphic beggar so this is the link that we're going to use i'll put it in the description if you want to download the same mockup and then you follow suit so this is the link i'm just going to copy it and paste it so here we go now once you click on the link in the description it should take you to this particular website where you get this particular mockup here and what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to the very bottom of it and then you're going to see the download over here now you realize that some things has been highlighted over here let's go through that the first thing is that it is a layered psd and that means that you can edit it as a psd in literally any photoshop version but then it states here that a minimum of cs6 so if you have cc 2018 2019 2020 or cs6 you can still make use of this particular mockup and then the size is 51 megabytes which isn't any bigger so once you're ready and anything you can just go ahead and click on download so let's download this and then it is going to save to your very location that you've set your downloads to go but of course because i've already downloaded this i'm just going to cancel it once it starts downloading so it is going to download in a zip file for you and then we can go ahead and extract it so let me just quickly cancel it and i'll see you on the other side now once this is downloaded you should be able to see it in your download path so this time i've copied it into the files that i'm going to use for this particular tutorial and it should download in either a rain or if you have an a power iso you can basically use it to open it up so let's go ahead and extract this and then we can start using it so you double click on this one and it is going to open the rain for you and you are going to open the t-shirt mockup so you double click on that as well and here you realize that you have the displacement displacement but what we actually looking for is the t-shirt mockup so there are two of them so you can select the first one select this one as well by holding control and then you can right click and go to or you can use the extract to now let's extract this to desktop and then we are going to click ok now once it is done it is going to extract it to the desktop and then we can go back to our desktop and then you see that we have these mockups over here now i realize that this is for the back and this is for the front so we can go ahead and double click on the front to open it in photoshop and just like that it opens in photoshop and as promised it is layered so you can basically edit it turn any one of them off you can even go ahead to change the background if you so want to basically if the color that you're using doesn't fit this one you can just change the color using the solid color adjustment to change it quickly so let's go ahead and try the back also and see how the back also looks like so you double click on it and then the back is also going to open so basically the front and back are just the same right so this is the front this is the back weird okay so let's go back to the front and this is the most important part if you want to replace your design it has been stated here that your design thumbnail should be here so what you're going to do is you're going to double click on this small smart object thumbnail so you double click on it and then it is going so for the sake of clarity let's go ahead and just get rid of this back 
okay so the smart object is going to open another whole new document for you that you can place your design in now it is interesting that if you've already done your design you can basically just place it over here like i said in the beginning of the video the mock-up is not the actual design it is just a replica so for instance if you want to replace the whole of this one here this placeholder here with something like let's go for something like the ellipse here and let's create something like this and then we are going to just make sure that we position it nicely you can give it a color some more to make it look very nice okay let's give it a color like this and then it looks very nice right over here and then what we can do is we can just go ahead and click on this close button and then we are going to save the changes so once we get back to the original design this is what we have isn't that just very simple and amazing now let's double click on the smart object thumbnail over here and you see that from here if you add anything like a t-shirt okay so let's go for something like t-shirts let's centerize this and then we can give it a color like white and click ok and then we can bring it over here so something like that you can press ctrl t to transform it up and then we can position it over here now if you go ahead and close this whole document and save it voila this is what you have so you see how simple it is and as i was talking about the background you can literally just go ahead and change the background to match with the current theme or the current color that you are using so it is quite very simple and interesting right now if you have your design already made you can just go ahead and drag it into it and let's try to create something that i tried creating something very interesting so let me just group all of these ones group it and then i'm going to turn this one off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick my test tool and then i'm going to write holy now in order for us not to get very confused let's try to add a solid background so that we can actually see exactly what we're doing and then later on we can just get rid of the background so let's add something like this and for the holy i'm just going to select all of that let's give it any color at all that is not going to blend with the white and let's skip down here and type ghost now for the ghost we are going to make or get rid of the o here and use the tab key to open it up a little bit okay now what we're going to do next is we're going to select all of this and then we change the font to a font i recently discovered through or got really and i use it in one of my previous videos you can check that out so watergraph ui and then we are going to open this up like that and open it like this over here now once we have this we can just right click on it go to the blending options and then we can add a gradient to it so let's choose the gradient overlay and then let's select our test and let me scroll down i've set a gradient over here these are the coordinates if you want to use that so this is the first one and this orange right here will be the second one so we click ok and then ok from here and then we try to resize or we try to play around with the angle a little bit so let's go up here to about 63 okay i think this looks good but let's make the yellow some more like that and we can actually increase the opacity like this to be full okay so right there this looks good now so instead of the o what we can do here we are applying a little bit of creativity here what we can do is i got this fire test okay and then i'm going to drag and drop that inside of photoshop so i can just transform it out a little bit like that and nicely place it over here now let's try to open the test app so ctrl t to open the test app like this and then we can open the fire here or we can reposition it but we can open it up a little bit as well so something like that and then we can just place it somewhere around here so we can go back to the test or we can go back to gradients that we set and then we can change the color actually to this particular color so let's select this one and choose this particular color over here so that it look much more red reddish of course and then we can 
click ok and then ok from here now once we're done with this we can just select the two of these as well so you hold control and you select this and then you press ctrl g to group that and then you can position it over here and this time around you're going to get rid of the solid background that we added and then we can go ahead and close this one and save it now let's see what we find on our t-shirts bingo it looks very awesome so we can just double click on this one again and try to open it up some more since we have a lot of space on the t-shirt so something like this and let's save it or we can just save it to see how it reflects on the other side bingo so it looks very nice so you can basically use the same strategy for the back it is the same thing you open the psd file you open your smart object thumbnail and then you can place in your design to present it to your client so we can just change the background over here to something like this that will match our design very perfectly and you can just use the same approach for the back design and yes that is how you download and you use t-shirt mockups effectively in photoshop let me know in the comment section if this was helpful if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section i'll be in there to interact and answer your questions for you thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye